I have always considered myself a troublemaker and now I feel like in my just trying to start using that trouble for good and really isolating it into trying to spread awareness and positive love. I grew up in Palos Verdes, California, and then I went to fashion school in LA. I decided to come to New York. I really wanted to start a to our line, and I just felt like LA 10 years ago was not the moment to do that. Sustainability isn't always considered luxury, and I feel like Kalina Strada really tries to elevate the idea of sustainability by using upcycled fabrics and still making it really fun and like having a whole runway show that's very fashion progressive in a way and really creating a world to make it wearable and easy to like take in, but also cool. It doesn't feel like your most granola, normal, conscious, beige hemp dresses. Kalina Strada uses a lot of dead stock fabrics that means it's fabric that's like been left at a warehouse or a factory for a long period of time. This season we worked with Swatch On and they're this Korean fabric supplier and they provide us with all these white PFT fabrics that we could print on. So it also like had a lot less water that they used in the process. So we had a velvet, a jersey, a rayon that we just got to print our own prints on. So we got to create the same prints in all these different fabrications. So that's why we had a lot of the same print going through the collection. The perler beads that we used this collection were all like upcycled from friends, kids that weren't using them. I won't work with fur, I won't work with leather, I won't work with recycled plastic water bottle fabric because that just creates way more microplastics for the world. I try to just keep it fibers from the earth. We have a factory in Midtown, so everyone gets paid fair wages. We like really oversee our production and that concern. We're not shipping everything back and forth, so we're just really reducing our carbon footprint in that sense. My spring 2020 collection was a theme of a farmer's market, and we closed off this beautiful street in Onsubicent Square. For the production of this season, we rented all the chairs, all the tables, all the linens, the umbrellas. I just wanted to reduce our impact, so like we didn't throw anything away. Some of the fruit was leftovers from other shows that they were gonna throw away. My Abolish Ice Bags that we provided at the end of the show for everyone was very important so they could all pick up their produce and take it home with them. And we got a ton of people Instagramming it of all the dinners that they made with the produce that they shopped at the show. I really just wanna be able to help change the industry and how we make things better and just try to create less waste and still have people wear cool clothes at the same time. Clean Estrada has just been a platform for social awareness and issues and how to be a better person and self-love and care and just be the best version of yourself that you can be. And I try to like implement that throughout the fashion shows and the verbiage of our like slogans and our tags and everything. I just try to like come from a real place of heart with it because I feel like it feels good to wear clothes made with love and like good intentions. <laughs>